If you're the only one in your house who knows how to cook, especially for the holiday that's one week from today, here's a question for you. What do you have for breakfast on the day of Thanksgiving? Mm. How about yeah. a breakfast scone buffet? Mm -hmm. Fresh baked scones will leave your family and your guests full and satisfied until the really big meal of the day. Liz Bouchong is here to show us how to make a statement, make it sassy, and make it yours. Yeah. You Love make, your tagline. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you make it yours by adding your own ingredients at uh -huh. the end. So we'll get started. And we've okay. got three cups of flour, all-purpose flour. And then we're to this, I'll take the lid off. We're okay. going to add three fourths of a cup of uh, sugar. Regular Just sugar. Stick it in there. Got mm -hmm. it. And a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. A tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon. And a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and that was both in that little dish. Uh huh. And then we're just going to put our food processor lid on and process it, pulse it just a few seconds just to get that blended. So okay. it's like doing the sifting for us, huh? Yeah. Nice. And then what we're going to add is three fourths cup of chopped or diced chilled butter. Okay. So we can take this. Uh, Love Liz's off. fancy appliances. Oh gosh. Well, I hope everybody has one. This is my favorite, one of my favorite tools. Okay. So we're just going to put them in a little at a time? Yeah. But okay. it won't do it until I put that in there. So. Okay. Ah, yeah, you can stick go. them all just in there. Just right down the chute, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just stick, stick it all in there and then we'll blend it up, process it up. And what are your other favorite <laughs> tools? Is the microplane. Mm -hmm. I know, everybody. This would be a good Christmas stocking stuffer. Okay. <gasps> That's a great cool. idea. Uh huh. I think everybody would really like I'd like to have another one, actually, because I use it all the time for everything. Do you want me to drop that hint to Doug? Sure. Right. He'd like that. Your okay. butter's in. Okay, now we're just going to pulse it. Here, let's put that dude thing back in there. Okay. And until it gets kind of coarse and mealy. Okay. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can put all that in a bowl and take two knives and, you know, blend it up so it gets real crumbly. Yeah. But you want it to look like a uh, coarse meal. I love scones because they're fun to say and they just sound fancy, you know? Instead of I a know. biscuit, we're having scones yes, this morning. Yes, it's a glorified biscuit. It is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, okay. and they're sweeter, too. They're, they have a lot of, well, you can tell I put, you know, three-fourths mm. cup of sugar in there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a big bowl. Oh, look at there. I know. Well, that worked nice, didn't it? Uh -huh. And then we're going to get this out of the way. We're going to make a well in here like this. Dig a well. Okay. And then put two eggs. Crack the whole egg. Put blah, blah, the whole eggs in there. Okay. <laughs> no shells. Uh-huh. <laughs> Morgan is actually the good egg cracker in town, I'm just uh, saying. Are you the He's the good look egg. At this. I know, isn't that Skinless. Funny? Yeah. And Morgan was um, grating our um, orange zest for zest. We're going to add that. Okay. okay then we're going to add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. In our well. In our well. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. And I think that's just about a teaspoon in there, so you can just dump the whole thing in there. Ah, she makes it easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take our fork, and we're going to whip that a little bit first. And You've even got Ed Jones over here snipping. Oh, he never, he never leaves the control room. <laughs> Okay, and so we're just going to stir this up kind of gently. Do you want to do so that? So the, the process, the, the, the well basically allows you, instead of mixing it in a separate bowl, you just right, did it right in there and gave it a right. little. Right. Okay. And, and the other thing is with biscuits and this kind of dough, you don't want to beat it and do that because it's a tender, flaky dough. That's why it's okay. got all that butter in it. Uh-huh. So you want to you wanna continue right. to stir that. Yep. And if we need more cream, which we might, I'll just... See what I can get out of there. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. All right, we're about out of time, so okay. you're going to continue to stir that, but leave it lumpy, a little lumpy, right? Well, a little bit. Yeah. It'll come together. Yeah. And then we'll add our cranberries, which I'll go ahead and do. Okay. And our orange zest. You want to go ahead and oh stick that Lord. in? All of it. Yes. Awesome. And if you want to change out the recipe, you can add walnuts. You can add chocolate chips. You know, oh. you could do dry oh, we've cherries. we've got pecans coming oh. out the wazoo. <laughs> Yes, we've got good. chocolate covered pecans <laughs> and dark chocolate. No, Yay. Little Forrest Gump for us okay. all. All right, LizBouchon.com, and when we come back, we'll finish this up plus tell you about our yeah. new book. Can't okay. wait. Not bad, huh? Yeah, looks good. <laughs> I okay. can't stop. I know. I know. I've had those nuts. They are good. They are really good. I They'd was thinking really the chocolate the covered pecans in there. Oh, mm. Have you got your chocolate? Delicious. You got your, mm -hmm. no. Okay, so where are we at here? You okay. made the dough so pretty. Yeah, well, I just grouped it together, made it into a bomb. We have to make <laughs> note that they're working on the roof again, so that's yes. what the pounding is. So Santa's try and talk over there. them. Okay.
<laughs> anyway, I divided the dough in half because I wanted to show you how to cut the scones two different ways. Okay. You can use a biscuit cutter and just cut it like a normal biscuit. And okay. so this is about one inch thick. Okay. And the thicker it is, the taller it'll be. Okay. And what would really be good is if you had time after you cut these out to put them in the refrigerator and mm -hmm. let them get cold. Oh. Look how pretty that is. And mm -hmm. then you put it on a double lined parchment sheet. But I went ahead and baked those and so. So anyway, you want them you cold? The you want them cold. Huh. That way they don't spread out so much. Okay. These kind of spread out. I should have put so them. So is that from that? No, this okay. is a separate dough. Okay. Separate dough. And then if you want to create those little pie wedgie things, mm -hmm. then you, you make a four inch round disc. Which that's kind of the traditional shape of a scone. It is. Uh huh. Um, then you make a four inch disc and you cut it in half. And then you cut it in half again. That's pretty simple, mm -hmm. I would say. Even and, I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I kind of wedge it with my fingers. It's just kind of mm -hmm. fun. I like it long and okay. different things. But then you bake that. And you bake the big ones at um, 475 degrees. Oh, wow. That's a hot oven. It's a hot oven because it's bread. You do that. Okay. Uh, it gets crusty then. And then you bake that for 20 minutes. And the little biscuits, about 10 minutes on the same temperature, 475. Okay. And then when they come out, you can use a glaze. Actually, before you, let me show you this. I forgot to tell okay. you this. Um, you can take whipping cream mm -hmm. and brush the tops of your scones with that. Now, what will that do? This creates a pretty little crust, like that brown ah, crust, and then you sprinkle okay. sugar, granulated or coarse sugar, on top of that and bake it. It just keeps everything nice and crisp and pretty. And okay. then we were going to make this, but we ran out of time. Right. And this is your cranberry yes. jam? This is cranberry orange jam. And I use the cranberry uh, gel, the sauce, you know, mm -hmm. that comes in a can, then when you open it up, it just... It's gel. Yeah. Yeah. And you Looks slice like it. the can. Uh -huh. I actually right. like that. I know. <laughs> that too. That's really good sauce. That's the easy cranberry <laughs> sauce. And it tastes good. But you melt that in a saucepan along okay. with uh, the liquid pectin and some chopped oranges, like we did the pumpkin jam, uh -huh. and stir it up. You have to taste this. This is so and delicious. And that's how you made that? That's how I made that. I, I might be able to try that. that. And okay. keep it in the refrigerator uh, because it's like the pumpkin jam. You can't leave it out. Try that. What do you oh, think? that is yummy. Isn't it good? Yes. So if you do a breakfast buffet, mm -hmm. you know, get some orange juice. And I even made a special orange drink. That has that's orange juice, ginger ale, and grated ginger. Ooh, yummy. And then put some cranberries Aww, in it. Thanks, Morgan. So you could have a bowl of fresh fruit, your scone buffet, mix up the, the dough, put that's different yummy. ingredients in the dough, and then have your juice. And it's all about just adding those little simple touches that yeah, <laughs> step that everything up. And that's what Liz is all about is taking things yeah. and just you know simple and you can mix some pretty. really dry sham uh, shampoo champagne with that <laughs> too many nuts more yeah. you could you could yeah, yeah. or, or well, orange you know crush. what else you could use orange crush in there that would be really good instead of ginger ale hey your you stones think? are fantastic get a can of that uh, mm -hmm. that jelly cranberry, cranberry stuff yeah and mix a uh, half a jar of orange marmalade with it <gasps> that would be delicious that'd work too wouldn't yes it? it would you wouldn't have to, chop the, easy. You wouldn't have to yes. chop the oranges i was thinking about the ease i love that mm -hmm. idea and liz love while it. we have you here congratulations yes. on your new project thank you love it and it's a little expansion of course the other book just desserts yes. this one has some other ideas in it as well yes this is more about appetizers mm -hmm. i have a big section of appetizers and, and really so. fun, petite, cute food. Yeah, foods. cute and easy to do. It looks complicated, but easy. And so I've got some great things coming up for Christmas that I'll share with everybody. So you've got that uh, at LizBouchon.com? Yes. Uh-huh. Get it in time for Christmas? Yes. Hallelujah. Very nice. LizBouchon.com for more information and other videos on some of the things she has done in the past. Wonderful happy Thanksgiving to happy you. Happy Thanksgiving yes. to all of you, too. Very nice. Hey, we're going to take a trip over to our daytime docs office when we come back.